Hello, what up, what's up? All praises due to the most high. I truly appreciate every last one of you for joining me, new subscribers, returning subscribers, and y'all that's just stopping by. If you haven't already gone ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and the like button if any of this resonates for you. But I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, angels and ancestors of the most high. I thank you. And with your white light, please come and protect us as we go into the tarot and allow me to channel clear on these messages for whomever may come across this message. What do they need to know and what do they need to hear? Can I throw a void? Can I get the Eight of Pentacles? What else have I said? The Eight of Wands. Okay, you're focused on something. You're working right now. Yeah, because I was definitely something's coming at you. Someone's coming towards you. Okay, the Ace of Cups. All right, you could be receiving um, an offer at this time. This could be taking you by surprise, or you didn't even know you were being considered. Somebody's also going to be like showing their emotions for you, showing how much they appreciate your work, appreciate what you do for them, or someone just showing like how much they appreciate you. I feel like you and this person have had some intimate connection, okay? I'm getting like companionship, all right? A Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Virgo could be significant. There's a passionate moment with you and someone where you two feel fulfilled, but at the same time, something is being accomplished or you've accomplished something. Growth happens. Unity happens. Love happens. Something feels overflowing. I heard impact. It impacts you both. What is this Holy Spirit? You've been working on this or working towards this. We have here the Ten of Swords coming out. Okay. You both are healing deep wounds. Okay. You both are healing deep wounds. I feel like you and someone have been betrayed. Have been betrayed before. There's some type of similarity to you two's story. You, you both of you guys' story. Okay. There's some similarities here. But you guys aren't bitter about it. You don't walk around with a chip on your shoulder. You don't take something personal. It's like you get it, you understand. Okay. Yeah, the three of cups. It's like you get this person. This person understands you. Okay, this is a friendship that would have lasted a lifetime had it not been sabotaged. Okay, because I'm looking at the ten of swords. I feel like these two were building something or you were building something. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But something came collapsing. It's like something was up in the air. It felt really high. It gave you a high. But when you drop, when the high was gone, it's like you fell real low. Somebody's like they didn't want to be around people or they were like disassociating themselves. What else are the ten of swords, Holy Spirit? The three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, because I feel like two people was working on something here, building something with one another, all right? The momentum was picking up. Things were changing rapidly. Yes, but yes. I feel like these two shared the same belief system. And there was some type of like conflict or like people wanting to come up against um a connection. Okay.
Something about breaking the rules. Something about breaking the rules. Somebody's speaking up for themselves. I feel someone did something different. They went against the grain somehow. Somebody was, it's just almost like somebody had a certain expectancy of them. And they didn't do what others expected. They did what they enjoyed. They did what healed them. It was personal. And somebody took it personal when they shouldn't have. But it's like you understood that. Something is very emotional. Somebody could have showed a lot of um, emotions when it came to something. Okay? Or like, yeah, when they were speaking on this or talking about this, they were very emotional. Showing a lot of aggression or, or frustration even. What is this, Hierophant Holy Spirit? Is this called a Hierophant? Because somebody did what they believed was the right thing to do. What else, Holy Spirit? The higher fine coming out? Yeah, we have here the Queen of Pentacles and the Five. I've seen the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, that's a, a strength card. Somebody could have turned away a, a really huge offer. It's like it didn't matter how much money it was. It had everything to do with their morals. Okay. Or dignity or integrity. Somebody found another way. Something showed courage. Something showed how courageous you were. Showed your bravery. I'm getting like somebody's disappointed. Somebody, because you didn't want this um offer or because you didn't um take action in the way that someone wanted you to, okay, and you did what you felt was right. Which was the right thing to do? They felt like a person that you were connected to that you've grown this deep bond with had an influence on your decision on your decision on your decision. <laughs> All right. They do. They feel like this person had an influence on your decision and somebody could have not known anything about this. You could have, this person could have not known that you were handling this or going through this or confirmation or experiencing this. But somebody feels like they're in despair. So somebody chose to come up against this person or come up against this, uh, partner or a partnership that you have look at the strength card with the five of cups it's like somebody's like aha let's see your ass get through this or like it's like making you go through something and regretting not taking what they offered like you wouldn't find better or you wouldn't get another offer Like somebody, this also be a conflict of interest situation too. What is this two of pentacles? Yeah. It's like somebody's upset about the choices that you made, okay? With the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this is, you were just securing your decision and your mind was made up. And you couldn't be persuaded. Yeah, eight of cups in reverse and the, and the uh, world card. Wanting to go into reverse on my lap. You walked away. You let go. You removed yourself, okay? You ended something. It's like you were okay with this decision, but someone else wasn't. And they felt like there was someone that you were connected to that played a part in why you made this decision. 
So they came up against this connection. Whatever this is that you were building with another person, this new love, this um um what is that? Somebody's calling you to wake up. This could be like good morning texts, okay? Or uh, like somebody could wake you up. But this person thinks about you a lot when you wake up or something about somebody being on your mind when you wake up or waking you up or being awakened. Come on, Holy Spirit. What is this Ace of Cups here? The Sun card, Nine of Pentacles. They're not happy, so they didn't want you to be happy. And damn sure not with someone else. But progressing or developing something with someone else. Healing with someone else. Uh, collaborating with someone else. Yeah, the Five of Wands. They wanted to, they seen that as competition. They wanted to pick a fight. Somebody could be calling somebody weird because they're different. They're not like them. They're not like the others. Somebody feels like someone's not cooperating or they're not. Yeah. I feel like somebody's trying so hard to be different and they're not trying at all. That's just who the hell they are. And that's what um is like magnetically pulling this these two people together because they could be opposites that are attracted or very attracted to one another. Okay, the death card here. A cycle is ending, okay? And there's a new app, app, opportunity. There's a new opportunity that's happening. For some reason, I can't get my words right in this message. What is this five of wands, Holy Spirit? Clarify the five of wands. Have here the four of pentacles. Yeah, this person is being blocked. They're in fear of change, okay? This person could have been greedy in the situation, trying to control you, or feeling the need to control you. But yeah, you're telling this person to back up or back off, okay? You're standing up for yourself or what you believe in. You're protecting what you're building or are building or created. This is somebody could love what they do for work. But I'm or somebody is like whatever they do for work, it's making them a lot of money, so they can put that money into what they really want to do. Okay, what they love doing. One more Holy Spirit. Oh my God. Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here. Regarding the interference of a connection. What is the collective need to know? Capricorn Leo could be significant. Water sign. As well as the Virgo Sagittarius. We have here the Four of Cups with the High Priestess. Somebody can know that someone does not want someone connecting with someone, collaborating with someone. They do not want you to energetically um, exchanging with one another. Somebody could be very very bored in a situation somebody is like <laughs> almost flatlining like they need to be revived they need something they need to wake up somebody like they need somebody to wake them up okay or just to help them snap out of it somebody is missing someone they feel like uh disconnected there's a strong feminine here strong feminine energy something that you said Somebody wants to hear your voice, but there's something that you say that sticks with somebody. Yeah. The five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Something about somebody losing a job or receiving a new one. What else, Holy Spirit? High priestess here with the four of cups. You got an interference of the connection. Somebody's been feeling sad or like depressed lately. So I feel like somebody caught them in their blind spot. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Somebody feels like they have all of what they need but one thing. Okay? They have all of what they need but one thing. And I feel like that is a disconnection. I feel like that is you. Mm hmm Because we have here the Four of Cups, High Priestess. It's like somebody's not taking lesser than. 
they want what they want, Nine of Cups. For who they want. We have here the Queen of Wands flying in reverse with the Ace of Wands. Okay, a new opportunity. So somebody could have rejected. I'm telling you, somebody is very jealous and revengeful and insecure about something here. Okay, this, whoever uh, someone's connected to, this other person makes this person feel real insecure. They do not like the fact that this person is playful and goofy and creative. All right? Somebody is very selfish and determined to have it their way. Even if they get, it's like they're willing to go so, even if they get hurt, Even if they get hurt in the process. Okay. Pisces Aries could be significant. That Queen of Wands. Somebody could be saying that these two people are deep as they are connected the way they are because of some type of... Um, sexual attraction that they have to one another that may very well be one of the reasons why this person is attracted to them but i'm picking up on it being so much more i feel like great minds think alike and these two people have share a lot of the same beliefs okay are educated and want um are educated and want to be educated in some of the same fields all right i feel like the way they think about money is the same as well. It has to do with someone just existing than someone living. And somebody feels like with someone, they're just existing. But when doing this with another person, it's like it's growing, it's living, it's thriving. It has a pulse. Back to someone feeling like they're flatlined and they need to be revived. Okay, the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is going, somebody is like speaking up. Speaking up for their self. They're speaking up for a connection. They're speaking up for whatever they're passionate about. Okay, how much they've grown. Somebody is very emotionally intelligent and somebody could have tried to, um, it's like pull on their emotions, okay? What is this Queen of Wands in reverse? But it's like somebody picked up on what somebody was putting down. Somebody could have tried to invite someone to a party. Okay, yeah, the Seven of Cups. Somebody could have been uh, questioned, like, why is someone settling for that when they have all these other options? But somebody is picking what best suits them. It's almost like a buffet. Just because it's a buffet don't mean you taste every fucking thing that's there. All right, you may have allergic reaction or some shit like that. So I'm just definitely getting that. Like somebody could have a buffet, but they want just this one thing, okay? Or just this one person, all right? Or they could have a lot of things that they're working on right now, but one thing is getting their focus or their attention. Okay, while well, somebody is out here searching for a reason why you are the way you are or why you're choosing to make these decisions. Yes, yeah, the Page of Swords and the um, Four of Wands. Somebody is saying that someone inspires them. They keep them on their toes. They keep them, keep them going. They keep them interested. It's a lot of enjoyment. Okay, and they feel celebrated, recognized, heard. <laughs> oh, I really did. Work a little stiff. I'm gonna use them in a minute. What is it? Yeah, eleven and showing itself deep, quiet meditation and stillness. All right, overflow, overwhelming and plenty.
Somebody could be telling somebody to hold up, to give them a minute. The letter L could be significant. Something could be overflowing. They're overflowing with emotion. Endless possibilities. Somebody is stopping and taking something in for a moment. They're being still. Somebody is being still. <clears throat> What important messages do you have, Holy Spirit? We have your horned cactus. Resourcefulness. Okay, you've been very resourceful at this time. Okay. Using only what is needed. Somebody could like get revamping something, taking something that's old and creating it into something that's new. We have your stranger and curiosity. So you have a stranger that has been interested in you. We have here the page of swords. Somebody is watching you. And they could also be watching a connection that you have with someone or how you may express your love. Okay? But there is a stranger and they're curious about you, okay? We have your full embrace, transmuting pain, okay? You've gone through some pain. Someone here has gone through some pain and you have transmuted the energy. 222 could be significant or 22. We have your opportunity coming out. All right? And with that four here, I'm seeing you protecting yourself, knowing what's for you and what isn't. But I'm seeing a lot of eyes on this card. There's a lot of eyes. At the bottom deck, we have her dust devil move, moving out of stagnation. Some, yeah, I'm definitely getting somebody trying to block something for you. Okay, we have her straddling worlds, wandering between realms, deep and quiet meditation. Okay. Somebody could literally be traveling to another realm. Somebody's a traveler. That is for some, a specific somebody. Somebody is a traveler. I feel like somebody's career is going to require them to travel. Okay, you could travel for work. But this opportunity is going to require you to travel. <laughs> lost compass as I'm talking about traveling. We had a lost compass. Somebody's finding their way. Getting back into the flow of energy. Okay. Raising their vibrations. Something about going to the south or leaving the south. Eight o'clock could be significant as well. Or the eighth. But take only what resonates and leave the rest. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect. Peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and health. We have your movement towards adventure. Spirits of the river. Water spirit. Spirit of the river. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.